what's up you guys welcome back to the channel you new subscribers I'm Barbas if you guys watched my last video you guys seen that the car the Turbo Civic is running on Haltech by itself now um, we did run into a few little problems that need to be sorted out before we could continue to tune the vehicle uh, one of the problems is injector we were running low on injectors so we got to get those injectors swapped out as soon as possible second is fuel pump we're gonna have to get that fuel pump swapped out as soon as possible you guys already know if you've been watching the videos that I have both I have the injectors and I have the fuel pump and it's ready to be dropped in it's just a matter of time before it gets dropped in another thing that we were having problems with was when I drove it over to, to Sheldon's house I noticed that my brakes were really soft and then I also noticed that when I would step on the on the brake pedal my engine would start to accelerate a little bit like it was letting like a vacuum get in there therefore I think my brake booster is bad so I'm gonna go and try to source one out try to get a brake booster get that swapped out because we definitely can't do any street pulls without any brakes brakes were really bad another thing that happened when we were done getting the car running and everything I started to reverse the car out of his garage and I noticed that my clutch was sticking I'm thinking that Maybe the, the slave cylinder might be going bad or it might need to be bled, one of the two. So I'm going to try to bleed it, but if I have any other issues, I'll just go ahead and replace it. And the final thing that I noticed that needs to be taken care of also is that when I drove it back to the house, I felt like if something was like loose. So I don't know if this has to do with the clutch sticking and maybe it's shaking or causing a vibration in the vehicle, but it felt like if my suspension on the right side, if something was loose, um, it didn't feel like on the steering wheel, like if it was like, like if I turn it or anything, it won't make any noise or anything. But when I would give it the gas, it sounded kind of like if I had like a bad motor mount or something which I don't so not quite sure what's going on there I'm gonna have to jack up the car and check every single bolt for the suspension for the shift linkage for the transmission check every single bolt under there and make sure that everything's nice and tight because the last thing we need is something falling off when we're doing these street pulls but besides that I think if we address all these little issues, we should be ready to go. Right now, we're headed to the junkyard and we're gonna see what we can find there. And maybe I'll get the brake booster there. I kinda wanted to buy it new, but new is gonna run me like $100. If I go to the junkyard and I get it there, it's only gonna run me for like 18 bucks, which is really nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just run over there and I'll see you guys when we get there. I'm not supposed to record in there. So I'm going to keep you guys low key until we get inside the yard. Here we are. There's nothing but junk here. I haven't found anything. There's nothing here. Can't find anything what I'm looking for. There's a four door EG right here. ECU is already gone. We got a CRV right here. 
Somebody destroyed the shit out of the... Oh shit! There's too much ice! But somebody destroyed everything in here. Can't even walk through here. Got a B20 right here. So we're gonna take the brake booster out of that 92 or 95 Honda Civic that's sitting here. I believe the brake booster should be the same. I went ahead and I searched it and it does confirm that it should be the same thing. And I go in here and I'll hit the brake pedal and the brake pedal feels pretty hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trust that it works and I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and pull this guy off. It's not a game, it's a red So there's two bolts in the front that are uh, 12 and then under here there's four bolts. The one at the top is giving me a really hard time at the top right corner because you need like a swivel tool in order to get to that. So I've been using this and slowly it, it's been coming off. So it's almost off. There's also a cotter pin right up here that I took off already with the little uh, piece that goes through. I already popped it off. So this is nice and free. So I just gotta get that last nut that's up there. This shit was a pain, but I got it. And let's see if it comes off. Oh, don't even. All right. So that's completely off now. Just gotta figure out how to wiggle it out now. So I'm disconnecting the lines. I don't want to be that guy that just cuts everything. Brake booster is off. And I got this guy off. It's gonna go ahead and set him right there. You know what you guys, I'm already here. I'm gonna go ahead and just take that slave for the clutch. Now that I'm out of the junkyard, look at all the fun toys that are out here. I'm gonna go ahead and head back home and I'll see you in the garage. I'm back at the house. I gotta take Sheldon his toy. He's getting his fenders back onto the Subaru. And we got the front bumper ready. And it's about to go back on for the first time. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and just get this video uploaded and tomorrow we'll continue recording again. Hopefully I can get everything that I got from the junkyard installed into the Civic and we could go and get this tune and get her ripping down the road. So either way, catch you on the next one. Peace out. Stay safe. Catch you guys later.
like Midnight Nation leave a comment